Ho Stampers, Deb Valder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to show you how to do a Poppin' Pastels card. We are going to use our new Pan Pastels and some clear pigment ink, and we are going to make this beautiful, beautiful card. So simple, so easy, so fast. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring in our grid sheet, and I'll tell you what we have as far as stamps. I'm using some of our ATSs. Our ATSs are stamps that um, are in the back of the book. Um, they're just artist trading stamps. Um, we used to make little tiny um, artist trading cards, and these are the size of the artist trading stamps. They're just really um, very versatile, very inexpensive, between $8.95, $7.95, right, right around in there. And um, they're just really wonderful stamps. So these are two of those ATSs found in the back of our book. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to take and we're going, I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper because um, I just want to work on uh, my scrap paper so I don't get all my grid paper dirty. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take my first layer, my clear pigment ink right here, and my background stamp. So if you've ever done um, Poppin' Pastels before, it's a very simple but very striking and fun technique to do. So we're going to ink up the stamp with our clear pigment ink and just stamp it onto our um, piece of cardstock. Now you're not going to be able to see it because it's clear ink. All right, make sure you get a good impression on there. And actually what I'm going to do is to take my scrap paper and let's just go right over the top of it, just like that. All right, just to make sure that we got it, we're done with our clear pigment ink, and we're going to take our... Oops. We're going to take our piece off, just like this. And like I said, it's clear pigment ink, so you can't really see it. And I'm going to take and put my grid sheet under, or my scrap sheet underneath that, so that um, I can keep this clean. All right, now I'm going to take two of my um, pan pastels. This one comes from the um, Confectionery Days. This is Pool Play. And this one is from the Mother Nature's, and this is Catalina Splash. Now I'm going to high, or I'm going to coordinate um, the two pan pastels with our cardstock and our ribbon. Everything in this company coordinates. Love, love, love it. All right, so we've got this all inked up. The ink doesn't dry, so um, we don't have to hurry on it. Now, when you're using your pan pastels, um, this is one of the larger brush or sponges. You're just going to take and just kind of grab some of the um, some of the the powder. You don't want to make a lot of powder, so I'm kind of just touching it, and that just loads up the um, sponge. And then you're just going to what I call burnish. All right, you're not going to sponge. Okay, we're going to burnish, and that just means going in circles and rubbing in the color. I'm just going to kind of cascade it down, just like that. Add a little bit more right here, and then I'm going to go in with the Catalina Splash and add a little bit more on top of that. All right, so I'm going to bring in the Catalina Splash, which is the darker. I always like going lighter to darker, no matter what I do, really, um, because I think it blends a little bit better. But you see how I'm going off the side just like this and bringing it over. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here. Now, the darker you want it, the more you're going to add to it. And I'm just going to feather it into the lighter color, just like this. Now, isn't that absolutely striking? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me get those out of the way. Let me get my scrap paper away just so you can see the sheer beauty of this piece right here. It's gorgeous. Now, at this point, um, I did not do that with this, but it, at this point, if you wanted to spray it with some hairspray, you can. I don't use fixative. I do like pump spray, but for my um, craft room here, I'm just going to take and use my miniature hairspray. All right, that dries in no time flat, and while that's drying, I'm going to get my other pieces. Now, we're going to take our words, we're going to take the black licorice ink, we're going to take our words, and you really want to ink this up very, very nicely, all right, because um, we want to um, go over the, um, the, the uh, dust that's there, or the um, pastel that's there. All right, so I'm just going to ink this up really, really well, and we're just going to lay this over the top. Now, if you're doing more than one of these, I got a piece of paper stuck in my stamp. Um, if you're doing more than one of these, what I would suggest um, strongly is to clean off your stamp in between each one, because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting, um, see how it picks up some of the uh, chalk? some of the pastel, 
So what I always do is to take my cleaner, um, take my cleaning cloth, take my cleaner, and then just clean off the stamp. Just so that on the next time that I use it, um, on one of the um, chalks, because you know me, I do more than one card at a time. So I'm not kidding you, I've got a bunch of them already done. So I can put them in my, my stamp room and um, sell them. So I just do a whole bunch of cards at the same time, or give them away, obviously, um, whenever whatever comes first. All right, so now I've got this, the uh, stamp all cleaned up. I've got everything stamped down. I'm going to add, I'm going to take and put my layers together. I'm going to do that with my Easy Glide. So I'll just take this. I don't use a lot of Easy Glide because you don't need it. Save you some money. All right, so, and I love this saying. It's just so pretty. Okay. Okay. That's onto my white piece right here. And then I'm going to pop the next layer so it's popped up onto my card. And we're going to do that with our large dirty foam, or we don't have large, we have medium and small. So these are the medium ones. Okay. And now when I put it onto my card base, I'm going to um, put it off to the side, off to the right hand side, because I want to make sure that I have enough room for my ribbon. All right, and you can actually put your ribbon on first if you want to, but I'm just going to take and put this on first because I know I'll have enough room over there for my ribbon. All right, and again, we have coordinating ribbon to match our cardstocks, to match our pastels. They all go together so nicely. All righty, now we're going to get our Grand Pro shears out and just trim off some of these. Alrighty, and there's our card. Let me just move my bow just a little bit. There we go. Alrighty, there's my, there's my post for today. That's how easy this card was. Isn't that absolutely, absolutely gorgeous? Let me just bring in one more of our, and you see, depending on how much you cover it up and how much you leave light, um, it always looks different. Let me just bring in one more of these because I do have another one that I'm working on. So that's that's my post for today. Super easy, super fun, and super fast. If you have any questions, hop on over to my blog um, and you know how to get a hold of me. You take care and have a great day.